Hello guys. I am actually, I've been researching gum by Jeff Price. It's a magic trick. And there's tons of videos on people doing it. And everybody wants to know how to do it. I know you're going to be pretty disappointed when you know how to do it. And I didn't even buy the DVD. I just, my friend taught me. So here, here it is. Here, let me post this up. My camera. Okay. So supposedly there's a pack of gum. There you you open it up and they're like, hey get, hey dude, you can I have a piece of gum? Oh yeah, sure. Oh, there's only one piece. See, there's only one one piece left in the pack. So then you supposedly close it, wave your hand over, wave your hand over, wave your hand, go you just snap whatever you want to do, then you just magically open it up and the pack is full. I will show I'm still not that good and then maybe if you like wave your hand over the top or something it's mystically back to the very bottom and there's only one piece left again. This is how you do it. The case you, this is why the trick is so hard to do. There's not really the one piece. There's many at the very bottom. So let's take out the real piece. You want one piece that's completely one in length. You want two packs to do this. I have another pack over here. Um, where'd it go? Right here. And this is like my refill pack. So like if I give them the piece of gum, I just give them another piece. Anyway, that you were it requires an orbit gum pack because this is the only one that can take to work. I'm gonna shake out the gimmick. Alright. Here it is. This is the gimmick. So it's a bunch of pieces of gum cut to length so that they just sit a little bit below the line where the gum starts. So what you want to do is that you want to take masking tape, not duct tape, because duct tape is too thick. And you want to get seven pieces of gum, have them as close together as possible, or else they won't slide to the very top when you turn it upside down and wave your hand over. So, after you're done with that, and see it's, it's actually pretty tight, it won't flop around, except if you turn it over on this side. And then you want to get... Um, that do the same thing but have it kind of like double sided just kind of make it a little circle and put the three pieces on top of there there's seven pieces across but you want to keep the number four out of there so that you can keep your real piece of gum right there sticking up past the line and so after you're done with that and this actually takes a while because you have to like and my tip is don't cut the, don't just get the piece of gum and cut it while it's in the wrapper because then the gum will like slip out and stuff. What I did is that I individually wrapped every single piece of gum like this and I just took it out and I measured. Okay, let's see. So I measured about to that, about a little bit more below, about right there, and I just cut it. And then I lined it up, made a mark, cut the other one until I got all of them. And then I slipped them in back into their, what, here, let's see. I slipped them back into their package like this. Closed them back up. Folded the wrapper back up. And then it was done. So... Then, but then you have to like fold some edges to like make it look like a real stick of gum. And so, after you're done with that, just place the gimmick back into the package so it slides in and you can't really see anything. You have to push it down a little bit more. Put your piece of gum in there, you're done pretty much. Now, all you need to do. Is do the presentation. And so after after you're done with that, all you do is that you close the package, you know, just wave your hand over it, 
then you want to grab, just pinch it right there. Open it back up. Wait, that didn't work. You know, just wave your hand over a couple times. Eh, didn't work. Alright, well that's pretty much how you do it.